Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel where we simplify software and tech one tutorial at a time. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use Issue, the popular digital publishing platform to upload a PDF and turn it into an interactive flipbook in just a few clicks. So whether you're creating a digital magazine, a brochure, a portfolio, or an ebook, Issue makes it easy to bring your content to life with smooth page flipping animations and of course sharing options. So if you are ready to make your PDFs look professional and engaging, let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Issue. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. But of course, we all know that the better option is to click the sign up button. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. It's very simple. You just have to provide all the information needed. And of course, to make the account creation faster and easier, you can sign up using your Google account, your Facebook, and then follow the on-screen instructions. And then you will be forwarded here. You can answer the question if it's going to be on behalf on organization or maybe an individual. But if you want to skip that, it's okay. All right. So, so I'm not going to answer this. But if you do, please do so because it helps the issue algorithm to provide a customizable dashboard. But for now, I'm going to click the skip button. Okay. And you can get issue unlimited. Unlock all issue features and grow your audience faster by clicking on the unlimited. But for now, I'm going to click the X button and you will be forwarded right off the bat here in Asia platform. And as you may notice, it offers an integration using your HubSpot, Canva, Adobe Express, and Adobe InDesign. So, so if you have an account on HubSpot, Adobe Express, and Adobe InDesign, you might want to log in so that you can integrate both platforms seamlessly. In my case, I'm going to be... Uh, integrating my canva account and of course from here i'm gonna click the get started button and as you may notice you will be forwarded to your canva account in my case i'm going to be using in existing design or use in new design okay so i'm going to be uploading a specific pdf file that i have uploaded i'm going to hover very quickly to my issue account I can simply upload a file here or drag and drop. Now, the thing is, if you don't have a PDF file ready, if you have a Canva account, you can simply go back here in Canva and go to the homepage, right? For example, let's say type in PDF, okay? For example, you might want to avoid all these pro because it requires a subscription plan. If, if I were you, I'm going to choose those without the watermark so you can start from uh, something okay so in our case i'm going to be choosing maybe um this um your brand in social media okay so let's click on it and there's going to be an option here that says customize this template i want you to hover down below and select a pdf file all right and then say for example i'm going to be customizing this template we will be forwarded to here by olivia wilson so in my case, I'm re going to rename it as Okay, so now on the top quarter, you have the option to share. And of course, you need to download it as a PDF. On the PDF, you can choose from any of the following. Is it going to be PDF standard, which is best for documents and emailing, which we are going to use? I'm not going to use the PDF print because, because that's obviously for printing. And after that, click the download button. All right. Now, once I have the PDF files generated in Canva, I'm going to click the upload a file. Or you can drag and drop your files here, depending on your preferences. Okay. So at this point, it's very important to know that you need to be connected to an active and stable internet connection because that could interfere with the loading times. And if you are having problems accessing the issue website, you might want to use a VPN because that could interfere with the um, loading and of course processing your documents. Now we have that already covered. We have the um, PDFs uploaded here. So we have like slides from one, two, three, four, five, and six and seven. All right. So we have that already covered right here. So 
we have more controls on how we would like the flip book to appear so we have the title already here and you can add a description okay now at the availability you can public live an issue or you can do it as a privately because if you are just working for a simple draft and you wanted to get some feedback from your um client to your other freelancers or other um member that you wanted you might want to do so and at the bottom you have more controls on how you would like to um get some features here like schedule publication collect email so you can request email address before reading or if you wanted to allow people to download your publication or show links that were detected in your file and give your publication an ad free experience you can do so but the thing is it requires a subscription plan since we are using a free trial our options is kind of limited now we're gonna hover down here on the linking the linking provides you an option to add a specific link so okay so you can link to a specific web page and then I'm gonna hover down right here so we can add our um, link very quickly i'm gonna go to our official youtube channel if you haven't already you might want to click the subscribe button click the bell icon so that you get notifications on every upload of that we do so i'm gonna copy this and switch very quickly to our issue account and then click the save button now the link will direct anyone who download the pdf to our official youtube channel here you can also add more media if you want it okay you can add more statistics to publish a C statistics so that when you publish your content in order to generate statistics in its performance and of course you have the ability to go for the selling all right if you want to publish your own content you can put in the unit price for example it's gonna be like you can use the default currency or in my case i preferred the usd or us dollars okay now that's going to be for setting preview pages we have that already here the free access codes if you want that i am going to go back again to the publication so we have the reads impressions average time reading once we have published our first article coming out of pdfs here in issue right and then of course we have the publish button here i want you to click on it very quickly and then you can unlock unlimited sharing tools for free if you subscribe to the unlimited plan if you want to upgrade if you feel that issue is going to be the platform that answers your business needs you might want to access for free but for now i'm going to click on x because we have already published our first article here in issue or our first flipbook you see that there's going to be a shareable link if you want to copy that and of course you can choose the page that you want to share from pages one to seven and of course these are going to be the social media channels that you can share your link facebook page linkedin page linkedin profile instagram for business pinterest email and a lot more okay so you can edit the full screen share no ads and of course edit full screen appearance but it requires an upgrade all right speaking of upgrade later on we're gonna check that but for now upon sharing there's gonna be more button here you can also embed the uh, flip book if you wanted to embed that to your wordpress or maybe um squarespace you can show the embedded code copy that and of course you can put in on your web wordpress website but it requires an upgrade similar to the qr code you can successfully create your qr code here wherein you can have an easy access to your documents download png or download svg depending on your preferences so that you can help readers to find your publication anywhere and acquire new readers and generate leads depending on your preferences and of course you have the ability to share the gif absolutely at no cost you can download source file publish to mailchimp or customize your gif depending on your preferences okay once you are happy with everything that you have i want you to click the view live so you can see the published version okay takes a little while and then what will happen is you would easily notice that your flipbook that came out of pdfs from canva is really amazing all right that's gonna be their flip book right here
it's creative, all right. So you have that thing with you. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on how to use Issue to upload your PDF and turn it into a beautiful interactive flipbook. So if you're looking for a sleek, professional and user-friendly platform to showcase your digital publications, whether it's magazines, portfolios, brochures, or reports, Issue is a solid choice. The free plan is great for beginners, and their premium features gives you the extra edge in branding and analytics. And of course, do not forget a well-designed flipbook can make a lasting impression. Issue helps you do just that. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more tech tutorials and content tools just like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions for other platforms you want us to review, drop them in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.